saying that we will be perpetually miserable and we will always fight one another. And whether it's, like I said, a mythical point, it's the truth. We have so many brilliant people in our community, from the Tyreek Nishis, from the Umar Johnsons, uh, to Malcolm X's, this, name them all, from Louis Farrakhan, Elijah Muhammad. God has sent us so many uh, people that were born to us, descendants of slaves, to help us, Marcus Garvey, get us out of the condition that we're in. And basically, um, I don't know if ours is any more rele relevant than any other group, but it seems to me that we perpetually fight against each other. No matter what, no matter how, no matter what. The Christians, the Muslims, the, all is, is, is all this infighting that stops us from evolving. Okay? And so it's like, it's like the, descend it's like the uh, founders knew that. Say, don't worry about it. If we do them like this, they'll stay arguing with one another. Now, when I look at Tyreek Nasheed and the fundamental black um, American, um, what is it? Foundation black American. I mean, to be honest with you, if we want to get caught up in names, and I know, I don't believe that uh, Yvette Carnell, and I don't know Yvette from Adam's Tomcat. But I don't feel, I, I read people pretty well. And from what I read about her, I do not believe that she is some insurgent that is trying to work for the Republican Party or none of that stuff. And if you just want to go by names alone, the well, wordings, because now you got fun, now you want to throw this uh, foundation black and say, oh, the ADOS is a group and all that stuff. I think all that is unnecessary and I think it it deserves a con it, it don't even deserve a conversation at this point because really it seems like one person has one motive and the other people have another motive. I'm sorry, that's how I feel in my spirit. Not saying the other motive is bad and but it's a counteractive um, that is unnecessary given the momentum that has already been started. I think that it's it's, it's a tragedy, it's, it's a travesty, and guess what? It's not going to, it's going to backfire. Because if you want to just go by names alone, uh, Ados, I mean, that's a good name. But if you want to know the truth, and I'm not a, I don't follow no Republican Party or the Democratic Party. I think what Ann Coulter said She's a white conservative commentator. Actually, in my opinion, she described our condition here. My grandmama, great grandmamas, uh, 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 my, on my mother's side, they from Kosciuszko, oh, Mississippi, and I told you, Poplar Bluff, Missouri. Um, that's where my uh, this, uh, ancestors shed blood. Okay, Louisiana, my people from there. And culture said. I think it should be D O A S. Because everybody can have a, 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 a name to put on us. But it's the substance and the content that should be most important. And because Yvette and Tone is coming from a political ideology, a political framework, um, it got nothing to do with you know, this culture and all that. It's got to do with a political. You can't get nothing done with that. That's been a failure talking about our culture. And saying, if you have to go, what is the framework? What is the data? What does it represent? Because if you, again, if you want to know what names is, and culture said you should be descendants of American slaves. That means no, no doubt you're not a Haitian slave. You're not a Moroccan slave. You're not an African slave. You are a descendant of American slaves, okay, as opposed to American descendant of slaves, because that might get mixed up, so the slave that was in, held in uh, some other part of Africa could say, okay, well, I'm a descendant of a slave, okay, I mean, well, uh, you know, I'm a descendant of a slave, or whatever, so what I'm saying is those semantics are ridiculous, what I see in this, and I'm going to kind of make it short y'all gotta y'all gotta use y'all better judgment now and this is not even against 
and, and tone against Tyreek. I, I love them both. But this is one where Tyreek, in my opinion, is dead wrong. He's dead wrong. And to me, it seems more self-serving. It seems to me. Well, and then I had to think. I'm not blaming him for that. Tyreek got a, a house full of babies. He got a daughter in college. So his motivation might be a little bit different than Tone or Yvette. They don't have those uh, that baggage. Okay? And I got to respect that. Because I know the difference. I, 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 I'm wise enough to know the difference, y'all. And if that was the motivation for ADOS, then they would have made tons of money off that, um, off the conference, like Tyreek makes off of the Hidden Color movies, um, and this would even be an issue. I'm not saying, and I, and no, I am saying that they need to that fundamental Black American. It's really sad that y'all would try to come up out of the momentum of Adolf and to move forward. All you showing me is that, and showing others that we're perpetually miserable. And I don't want to say that about us, but it seems to be true. I I read further down in the um, article where it said, you know, this is the kind of stuff we we should be said that Yvette Carnell was critical of Kamala Harris, uh, 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 Kamala Harris, I'm sorry, uh, because she, you know, of her, like, birtherism and xenophobia. I don't think that was the case. And see, if we can narrow some of this stuff down and have the support of all our great minds who either represent themselves as American descendants of slaves or descendants of American slaves, whichever one, Whichever one. But all these different groups, this is the same thing that's been happening and plaguing us forever. It's the same craziness. And now you got all these brilliant minds that can't work together because the ego is so big. The ego is so large. And usually that only happens when you are paramount, you know, um, you know, person that, you know, really, you know, is, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with capitalism, but if you're a hustler, which Tyreek is, he made it plain. That's what he do. So, uh, his motivation, in my opinion, is a little different. That don't mean that Tyreek is a bad dude. That don't mean none of that. He got babies to feed. So, that's a little bit different than somebody that's looking out for us as a whole group across these United States and really don't have the motivation of I got to do this because my babies don't eat. I got to do this because my baby won't be in college. I got to do this because my wife won't be able to. It's not even that stuff. They're more authentic as far as I'm, the way I see it. So, you know, people can say and do what they want to do. This is a free country. But I think it's very disingenuous for this to become part of this uh, move, movement. And I don't think... Um, 8OS is a group because you're supposed to develop uh, chapters and, and, and uh, make it where you can disseminate information. Nobody's talking about anything violent. This does not have to be, we have to define and make clear what it is. Because they can say the same thing about the foundational black Americans uh, uh whatever. They can say the same thing. If that's, is that, if that's what you want to use to be the focus of why you don't want to be a part of a group, you know. Um, and I, and to be honest with you, um, I think that we should stick to what politically matters, who has the most strength politically, who has the most uh, people that they uh, rely on and not self-contained, like, narcissistic kind of behavior. Because, like, when you're dealing with economists and people that have been political analysts or worked in the Democratic Party seeing certain things, they have an inside track. Um, even with um, Tone doing a, a freeway, uh, Rick Ross, the crack in the system. I mean, it's not like, again, these people don't have brilliant ideas. 